Public Perception on the Major Issues of Pakistan Pakistan is a developing country located in Southern Asia. It covers a huge area of 796,095 square kilometers and borders with Arabian Sea. The estimated population of the country is 200 million. It is a nuclear power and has several natural resources such as agricultural land, gas, petroleum, coal, copper, salt, gemstones, etc. The system of the government is federal parliamentary republic and the major religion of its people is Islam. Apart from the strengths, Pakistan has been facing several issues which have slowed its progress such as poor economy, energy crisis, unemployment, low literacy rates, poor health facilities, hosting Afghan refugees, terrorism, and so forth. A study was carried out by Dr. Sukun to portray the public perception on the major issues of Pakistan. The study was not intended to supply the actual facts and figures on the major issues of Pakistan, it was rather focused on how public perceive the issues and how Pakistanis rank their problems. After a critical observation that the journalists and their guests on different TV channels tried to convey the feelings of Pakistani people in an unscientific fashion, Dr. Sukun intended to explore the public perceptions through a first-hand survey. Dr. Sukun was unable to find even a single earlier study which could have reflected what Pakistanis actually think about the country's problems. The aforesaid study, therefore, was an effort to gather data on the public perception on the major issues of Pakistan. The perceptions of public in a country are extremely important in growth and progress. People usually form perceptions through communicating within themselves and gathering information from one and another. They express their opinions usually with the like-minded people to express their feelings in day-to-day -day political discussions. Public perception does influence governmental policies. The aforesaid study involved 341 conveniently selected participants from Rawalpindi and Islamabad, Pakistan. The sample further included 165 males and 176 females. A specific questionnaire was designed for the study. The demographic information part included information about the respondent's gender, age, education, marital status, monthly income, habit of casting vote and routine of casting vote. The respondent was further asked to write the top 10 issues of Pakistan in a descending order that is the most important problem as first and the comparatively least important problem as tenth. The same problems were further assigned with scores. The problems were further ranked based on the total score. The findings revealed 25 major issues highlighted by the public. The effect size for each issue was calculated based on the overall importance given to an issue by the entire sample. People considered corruption as the first top-ranked problem of the country with 13.09% adverse effect to the country, followed by illiteracy effect equals 12.43% poverty economic injustice effect equals 9.83% energy crisis effect equals 8.9% terrorism effect equals 7.95% unemployment effect equals 7.53% social injustice effect equals 7.43% inflation effect equals 5.76% political instability effect equals 5.16% dearth of health facilities effect effect equals 5.09% crime, effect equals 2.17% gender discrimination, effect equals 1.93% population explosion, effect equals 1.77% environmental issues, effect equals 1.7% lack of infrastructure, effect equals 1.61% poor mental health, effect equals 1.26% violation of sovereignty, effect equals 1.18% national integration, effect equals 1.12% child labor effect equals 0.82 percent disregard of ethical values effect equals 0.8 percent sectarianism effect equals 0.75 percent yellow journalism effect equals 0.7 percent technological backwardness effect equals 0.42 percent misinterpretation of religion effect equals 0.32 percent and bad governance effect equals 0.24 percent the perceptions of the public on the key issues of the country were also analyzed by comparing people based on gender, age, marital status, education, monthly income, vote casting routine and preference in casting vote. Only top three choices were analyzed in this regard. 
Analyses based on gender revealed that both men and women considered corruption as the first key issue of the country, illiteracy as the second, and poverty as the third major issue of the country. Notably, there was no difference of opinion between men and women in this regard. Analyses based on age revealed that people between 18 years to 30 and 41 and above had no difference of opinion and ranked corruption as one stone, illiteracy as second and poverty as third major issue. People between 31 to 40 years of age, however, thought illiteracy as first issue followed by corruption and poverty. It reflects that people between 31 to 40 years of age gave more importance to illiteracy as compared with corruption and poverty. Analyses based on marital status revealed that people the unmarried and the widow er had no difference of opinion and ranked corruption as one stone, illiteracy as second and poverty as third major issue. The married, however, thought illiteracy as first issue followed by corruption and energy crisis. It reflects that the married gave more importance to illiteracy and energy crisis as compared with corruption. Analyses based on education revealed mixed but similar opinions for corruption, illiteracy, poverty, and energy crisis. The only difference was that the PhDs also highlighted social injustice as the third major issue of the country. Analyses based on monthly income revealed that people earning till 60,000 rupees monthly regarded corruption as one stone, illiteracy as second and poverty as third major issue. People earning 61,000 rupees monthly and above, however, considered energy crisis as the third major issue and were similar with their counterparts for first and second choice. As in Pakistan, the turnover of casting votes always remains insufficient, the study made some analyses based on vote casting behavior too. Corruption, illiteracy, and poverty were the top-ranked choices in this regard by all the respondents who casted their votes regularly, occasionally or never. People who regularly casted their votes, however, also highlighted energy crisis as the third major issue. Moreover, people who used to cast their votes by force also highlighted social injustice as the second major issue of the country. The study also analyzed significant statistical differences against each of the 25 publicly highlighted issues based on gender, age, marital status, education, monthly income, vote casting routine and preference in casting vote. Statistically significant differences were seen in disregard of ethical values based on gender, political instability, and bad governance based on age, unemployment, inflation, yellow journalism, and bad governance based on marital status, corruption, disregard of ethical values, and yellow journalism based on education, social injustice, crime, and lack of infrastructure based on vote casting routine. To summarize the findings of the study, it can be stated that corruption, illiteracy, and poverty are the three top-ranked key issues of Pakistan as perceived by Pakistanis. These three core issues of the country, according to the perceptions of the public, have 35% adverse share in reducing the growth of the country. Besides the study by Dr. Sukun has highlighted the top three major issues of the country, it was also revealed that issues which have been mostly seen as the biggest problems of the country by the print and electronic media of the country such as bad governance, sectarianism, crime, gender-based discrimination, etc. were not placed even in the top 10 issues of Pakistan by its public. The aforesaid study, being the first one of its natures, would surely help all the stakeholders such as journalists, politicians, and policy makers, in understanding the public discourse on the major issues of Pakistan. Please note that the data collection for the aforesaid study was done between August and November 2016. Thanks for listening. To read the entire paper, kindly visit www.dersakoon.info.